sold an empty house. So hold my hand, I'll walk with you, my dear. Woo! Still extremely excited about our exploration of the greatest topic of all time, calculus. Yesterday, you read about the derivative. We talked a little bit about the derivative function. And today we are continuing that discussion with differentiation from first principles. Now, differentiation here is the act of taking a derivative. So if you're asked to, um, if you're given the direction line like this, differentiate, that is asking you to take or find the derivative. Okay, very exciting stuff here. I don't know why my letters are all of a sudden like angular here. I don't know why that's happening. Okay. So I want you to consider a general function y equals f of x. So I'm going to try and draw a bit of a smooth parabolic thing here. Nice curve. Not bad. Okay. So this is going to be y equals f of x. Okay. Where a is the point f um, x f of x. Okay, so what does that mean? So this is point A, okay, and it has an x coordinate, and of course its value is going to be over here, it's going to be f of x, and this is the coordinate x f of x. Very good. Okay. Um, and B is the point x plus h, f of x plus h. Hmm, okay, well that's sort of weird. Where is that h coming from? Um, well, let's say I go to here. And this is x plus h. Okay, so that means that, okay, this is x. Okay. So then the distance between x and x plus h, this distance right here is h. Okay, so from here to here is h, making this point x plus h. Very good, very simple. So if I go up here, then that's x plus h, and if I go over here, then its value is f of x plus h. For example, if this, if this was um, the graph of x squared, then this would be the, uh, this value would be x plus h, the quantity squared. Okay, so we have the ordered pair um, x plus h, f of x plus h. Okay. And now let us draw a chord, okay, and we'll make her blue, from A to B, which I did not label as B, so let me do that. Okay, so that is B, okay. So... Um, what's the, what's the slope of this chord? Well, remember the slope formula, formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, okay? So we're going to do that with these to, um, ordered pairs. Um, so for this, it's going to be y2 f of x plus h minus f of x, okay, the sub f of x plus h minus f of x over, um, let's see, uh, x plus h minus x. Okay, I guess I really don't need those parentheses. I don't know why I put them there. Let's get rid of it. Okay, so when simplified, that is equal to um, f of x plus h minus f of x 
over h because x minus x is 0. Okay, so um, this is how we would find the slope of this particular chord. Remember, the slope is a value. It's the tilt of the line. It's the gradient. It's the steepness. Always remember that slope is a value. Okay, so what happens if we take h and we move and we make it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and it gets closer and closer and closer to h okay well eventually we are going to get the gradient of the tangent line to a um, of the, the the gradient of the tangent line to this curve at a the slope of the tangent to the curve and as h is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and closer and closer and closer to x, that should be sounding familiar to you. That should be, find, uh, be sounding uh, like a limit. And what we have here is a way to find the derivative. Okay, The derivative function, or simply derivative, of y equals f of x is defined as f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Okay, The limit as h approaches 0. Okay, Now when they talk about h approaching 0, they're talking about the length or the width of h. It is that actual value is going to 0. And it's going to 0, it's getting smaller and smaller and smaller as it approaches x. So I want you to take a look at something. Oops, I don't know why that's there. Okay, I want this, my graphing calculator. Why is that not showing up? Okay, there we go. And I want to look at this picture, and I want to do it on this view. Okay, and I've, I've drawn the same thing, and look at H here, and I'm going to drag this point closer and closer and closer and you can see how the width of H is getting smaller until it, the width is actually zero and we're almost on top of it and so it's a limit we're not actually getting there but we're getting to zero and you can see how the slope of that line changes um, okay um, so that boys and girls is the derivative function and using it using the derivative function is finding the derivative um, using first principles. Okay, use the definition of f prime of x. So actually I'm going to go back so we don't have to rewrite it and I'm going to copy this and paste it here for us. Okay, okay, so there we go. Okay, use the definition of f prime of x to find the gradient of the function f of x equals x squared. Okay, so f prime of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of the function of x plus h. Well, my function is x squared, so that's going to be x plus h, the quantity squared, f of x plus h, minus f of x. Well, f of x equals x squared. So that's minus x squared all over h. Okay, And whenever we're taking a limit, we always want to try direct substitution. Um, you check the denominator, we get um, 0, which you're always going to do when you're using first principles. But just as a general rule, we should always, always, always um, check to see if we can use uh, direct substitution. Okay, um, so that means we're going to have to do some algebra to um, figure this out. So limit as h approaches 0, Ooh, I'm going to have to write small here. Expanding that, if you write x squared plus h squared, don't speak to me ever again. This becomes x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared all over h, okay, which is equal to x squared minus x squared is 0, so that's going to be the limit 
as h approaches 0. Oops, uh, my pen is hesitating here. Okay, of uh, 2xh plus h squared. Hopefully you see what's about to happen here. Over h equals, I still can't substitute because that h is in the denominator, but it's about to go away. The limit as h approaches 0 of h, I'm going to factor out an h, of 2x plus h over h kapow okay and now I can use direct substitution when h is 0 this equals 2x plus 0 which is equal to 2x okay so what that means is the derivative function or the derivative of x squared is indeed equal to 2x, which means I can use 2x to find the slope of the tangent to the curve. What do I mean by that? Well, um, I graphed uh, x squared here, right here for you. And let's just do something easy. I'm going to change the x coordinate to 2, right? No, I don't like that. Let's change it to, well, no. Um, let's change it to 3. Okay, that's better. I'm going to make that 10. Sorry about this. Okay, so remember the derivative function is equal to 2 times x. And the derivative, remember, gives you the slope of the tangent to the curve. Okay, and it is 2x, right? So, I have the x-coordinate of 3 here, and I've given you this tangent line. If I take 2 times x, 2 times 3, I get the slope of the tangent equal to 6. I asked the uh, calculator to compute the slope of this tangent line, tangent line. And as I grab it to other values, like um, let's just check it, maybe try and get something nice, maybe 1.5, can I do it? Okay, 1.512 is good. Well, what's 2 times negative 1.52? Well, it's negative 3.05. The calculator is rounding. That's why it says that. But it uses the derivative function to take the slope of the tangent to the curve. And again, we're getting some rounding errors here. Oh, there we go. 2 times negative 2.12 is negative 4.24. That is the slope of this tangent line. Okay, that's part one. Part two is coming up. See ya!